Hey there, my gorgeous friends on the internet. If you've been looking for a chart library for React or Next.js, uh, I want to introduce you and give you a quick demo of ReCharts. You know, I never really like working with charts before. It's either getting the responsiveness right or, you know, the bundle sizes would be too big on that. I just wanted something lightweight that's based on SVG. So ReCharts is, is the one I went with and we use that on Sprout and Scribble as well for the Next.js 14 course. I really like it because it just uses submodules of D3 and you just have these simple simple React components that you can just attach to. So let me give you a quick demo. I think you're going to really like it. I stumbled the last word there. The scene is... Let's get some greenery in the scene. Let's save the planet. So for this project, I just have a simple Next.js 14 application running here. I'll show you a quick example here, how to implement it. And then I'll show you how we have it on the course platform as well, where we have dynamic data. So we can switch the chart and it'll animate and stuff like that. It'll be really cool. Okay, so the one thing that we need to install is npm i recharts. Can you see the command though? So install that command. Let's hit enter. I'll just stay on the ground. That's okay, let's get going. So I just imported chat CN, just the card system here that we can display out. And we'll try the bar chart and the bar. Now, the nice thing is they have line charts, simple charts, all of these. And once you have the data structure, you can literally just change out this component and render whichever you want out, which is just, yeah, just super simple and great. So let's go back here and implement this. So for our data structure, we'll just have a simple array where we have some dates and we also have active users. So we essentially want to display like how many active users we had each day. So let's render out the card component here and we'll do a card header as well. There we go. We'll say active users. Let's also do a card content. And this is where we're going to plug in our bar chart. So let's do bar chart. We'll open this up and the actual like bar, the SVG bar is going to be this like that. And we'll need to pass the data down here. So we can say data equals to user activity. And then to actually render this out, you can pass this down as a data key like that. And this should be a pair of strings. Okay, so whichever you want here, uh, you just pass down the string value of it like that. And let's hit save. Now, since I marked this with use client, we'll remove the async. Again, you can separate this into your own component. So now, as you can see, nothing happens. So you need to pass in a prop with width and a height to, to actually get to see it. But then you get that and you're like, well, what am I supposed to do with that? Where's my, where's my microscope so I can see that little chart there? And as you can see, you don't have any response from this. And you cannot pass down like 100% here or whatever like that. But it does come with a special component that you can import, which is going to be a responsive container. And this just makes life so, so easy. So you take that responsive container essentially and wrap it around your chart. So we'll do that like that. Pass the bar chart around it. And on this one now, we can set a specific width and a height. So I can pass down 100% here. And for the height as well, I can pass down 100%. And this is going to essentially take up the height of the container. So I can go here to the card container and just do like a height of 96. Or like, let's do, I don't know, we'll do 72 and hit save. And there we go. We got that nice chart popping up. So let me just add an MX auto here with a margin of like 24. So we can render this out like that. And there we go. As you can see, now it nicely scales up uh, to our container. And from here on out, if you want to add like a tooltip to it, it's super simple. You can just import it like that and hit save. And now when we hover over it, as you can see, we get that data. Let me also show you how we have this set up in the Next.js 14 course. So if we have a look here, as you can see, we have a chart that will display like the total of products that we sold for this week. So as you can see today, we haven't sold anything three days ago, four or five. And look how nice and responsive this is as well. There we go. And the cool thing is we can hit this month and this is just like live animates like that. And that's super cool. So how is this done? Um, what we're doing essentially is I'm getting the total orders here. And just like I showed you in the little demo, I'm just mapping over it and getting the date and the revenue, right? That's all I really care about. So here down in the chart, if we have a look, as you can see, I have the responsive container set up the bar chart that's taken that active chart. The tooltip here, you can also like map over this and display it like that. See how we have this little bubble showing? So you can do a props payload, get each item, and then you can pull in the item value like that to see it. There we go. So it's 152 like that. And then you can also use this 
y-axis and x-axis uh, to give you this nice line here. Now there was a problem with this before uh, where it would give you an error if you check your console log, uh, but this has been fixed as of today or like a day or two ago. So if you want that fix, uh, the name for it is, it's an alpha. So if I search recharts, here we go, it's 2.13.0 alpha one. Okay, that's gonna get rid of the error message. So check this out, let's try this out. So if I hit buy here, let's just go buy a product. I'll add to the cart, we'll go here. As you can see, we have 100. Let's lower this a little bit. We'll go to 78, just quickly pay for this. And I'll show you how this is gonna update. I'll just pass that down, we'll select, uh, let's do that, we'll hit pay. And there we go, it's paid, so we can view the orders. There we go, it's success. If we head back here, look at that, it popped up $156. Okay, so that's how we're using the X and Y axis. The revenue here, the data key is gonna be the revenue. And to switch this over to month and to week, all I'm doing is I'm doing a router push here and changing the parameter of this. So as you can see, when I have on this week, it puts a filter week on it. If I click on the month, it puts a filter month. And by default, when I like navigate over to the page here, as you can see, the default is this week and that's coming from here. So we'll do a search for amps. I'm getting the filter. If it doesn't have a filter, just put the week by default. So I'm passing these charts items in to this active chart that has a use memo. And this re-triggers every time the filter uh, changes. Okay. And then I just have one for weekly and one for monthly. And if the filter equals week, then I'm returning the weekly chart with the array that has uh, this basically. Let me quickly show you. So if I go to the weekly chart, essentially I'm looping over this and checking the date and see if it qualifies within that date. And then I'm reducing the price and just adding all those totals together. So and the check date is just like a simple function here that I'm checking to see. Uh, it's gonna take in a date to check and days ago. So that's how I'm doing it here. And I'm doing it for all these days. Okay, and then it's pretty much the same for the month as well. Okay, so it's quite simple. I just love it and it looks great. I don't know, I'm really, really happy with it. So yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know which is your favorite uh, chart library. You know what, I'm like, I totally got discouraged from making like YouTube videos. I always like think of like, oh, I need to make something really cool and really special. But then I just hear like people, you know, just film for the sake of filming. Maybe that's what I should do, just chat. Just chat more on this YouTube channel. I get to in my head about it for some reason. So expect me to make more videos. I'm coming out. Well, not like that, not like that.